What's up everybody? This is Colin from Holistic Heritage Homestead. I hope you're all well. Folks, I am still thinking about water. Right now, many people in America are facing drought conditions. This is no joke, okay? So in the previous video, I discussed some things you really should be thinking about when it comes to water. Water is one of the most important, if not the most important part of any preparedness plan, any survival plan. If you're into gardening, you need it. If you have livestock, you need it. If you're into living, you need it, okay? Please get your water situation in order, okay? Now, one thing about this channel you'll hopefully notice is that we don't just like to talk about bad things that are happening in the world. We all know there are bad things happening. Every time we put out a video, we're gonna offer you answers, solutions, some positivity to point you in the right direction, right? So I was talking to a gentleman the other day who owned a previously, previously owned an excavation business. And he had said right now, people are taking advantage of the opportunity to fix their ponds. And that got me thinking, where's the opportunity here, All right? If you are familiar with heavy equipment, you really, it's very difficult, if not impossible, to operate heavy equipment. Backhoes, tractors, skid steers, in conditions where the ground is wet. Now, I'm not an expert, I have a little bit of experience, but always use caution, always talk to experts, or have experts do the work for you if you're not familiar, but, because maybe the ground being brittle and or dry could be just as bad, I don't know, but I know it's prohibitively, it's almost impossible to do anything when the ground is wet. So if the ground is dry, get things done. You need to carve out your pond, get it done. You need to make it deeper, get it done. You need to terraform, get it done. You need to set up your irrigation systems, get it done. You live in the suburbs, you don't have a lot of space, dig a little frog pond. Water anywhere is going to help you. You could always disinfect it, purify it, filter it, whatever, at a later time. But you need water, you need water. Wherever you are, I recommend stockpiling. Oh, if I could say that word, it's like a bad word nowadays. Stockpiling, maybe just, you know, putting away some extra. Maybe not stockpile, just put some extra stuff away. Bottled water. Glass is better in my opinion, okay? But bottled water, you should have massive amounts of bottled water. Maybe, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But something to consider, right? Have systems in place. What happens if you're well? You need electricity. Well, it doesn't work anymore. What are you gonna do? We talked about a couple of these things in the last video, but folks, the opportunity is here. The ground is dry. Get out there. Get these things done. Get those systems in place. Because when the rain comes, you're not gonna be able to work, okay? And if you have the space, I really, 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 Check out the previous video that we that I did on uh, why you should consider a pond. Really consider putting in a pond, okay? And for those of you folks who are going through this right now, that should be a wake-up call. You need a pond, okay? Or a pond would be very valuable to you, right? So think about how to reuse and recycle water, right? Think about how to stack functions, you know, you know, water above so that the stuff falls, you know, the water drips down or falls down on top of other plants below, you know. Have your pond near your livestock, near your gardens, right? You know, take your wet compost from your compost rings, check out that video, and put that in your food forest, right? Use your wood chips, your wood chip mulch to hold the water in, right? consider water think about water i'm still thinking about water are you still thinking about water let me know in the comments below what you're doing to take advantage of this opportunity to get things done right and let's help each other out folks give each other some ideas we appreciate all the subscriptions every like every comment really means a lot to us folks take care